Hey guys, it's Tracy. In today's video, I'll be going over my monthly budget for the month of January 2022 in my new budget planner. I am using the Elevated Life Co. Planner. I'm super excited to use this planner by Taylor Budgets and the Crafty Budgeter. Congrats to them both. So let me show you the planner real quick. I love the cover. I love the colors. It's super cute. It's a good size. The cover is sturdy. This is a well-made planner. In the first page, you get to write your name and then it says, and I'm ready to elevate. You then have two years of a calendar that you can see. So it's 2022 and 2023. And there's a quote. Then there's instructions how to use the planner. Goal settings. And then when you go to January, there's two blank pages where you can use it to write notes. And then you come to two page calendar spread. So it's undated. I did add the dates and I did write my pay dates. So let's go over my January pay date. So for the pay dates, we are going to get paid on January 7th, the 12th, the 21st and the 26th. You can write down some goals here and then keep track of some categories. And then here's a little section for brain dump. So what I like about this planner is the monthly budget. You have the income section, you get to write out your budget, and then at the end of the month, you get to write in your actual income. There's a section here for fixed expenses, debt and savings, and variable expenses. Then there's another quote. So here we have the paycheck budget and it looks exactly like the monthly budget. I budget by paycheck. And then you have the paycheck denomination on this page. And this is for anyone that uses cash envelopes. I do not use any cash envelopes. So this page, the way I'm going to use it is I'm going to track my expenses for the same week. So I'm going to budget my paycheck and then track my expenses for the same week. The following page is um, to jot down your to do's reminders. You get to write in the date. What did you buy today? So you, I guess you get to uh, track your expenses here and then there's a brain dump and then a weekly check in. The way I'm going to use this page is I'm going to the jot it down section, I'm going to use it for meal planning. So I'm going to plan my meals and then for the brain dump, I'm going to write down everything that I need to uh, buy at the grocery store and then just take a picture and take it with me. And then I normally do not do weekly check-ins, so I'm still not sure if I'm going to use this section, but we'll see. And then there is five paycheck budgets for each month and then at the end there is a sinking fund update and a debt update so you get to write your sinking fund the category the starting balance the ending balance and then if you added an amount or you had an expense then the debt update you get to write in your debt starting balance, minimum payment, and then your ending balance. So I am going to start keeping track of my sinking funds and I will share my debt update with you guys. I only have one debt left and that is our car. And that's it. Then there's a page with the notes and then you have the rest of the year. So yeah, uh, this is the planner that I'll be using this year. I'm super excited. And then let me share with you my January budget really quick. So 
So for the month of January, the income we're gonna budget is $5,436. And for the fixed expenses, I already deducted our tithes. We're going to give to St. Jude $21, our mortgage. I It's zero, but I like to write this down as a reminder of what we've accomplished. We paid off our mortgage. And then we have Hulu, $7, storage, $3, our gardener, $100. Car insurance, $157. We did remove my son from our car insurance. He did purchase his own vehicle and he has his own insurance. So this is car insurance for my husband and myself. Dog food delivery is $37. We have Disney annual pass, that's for two passes. That is $37. Utilities, that is the electric, gas, and internet. That's $280. Water, sewer, and garbage is, we pay that bi-monthly and the average amount a month is $100. Life insurance is for two policies, that's $92. And the cell phone is for two plans, that's $50. The total amount is $884. And when you get the income and you deduct the fixed expenses, the balance remaining is $4,552. Now for our debt and savings, I'm also going to include any investing in this section. So we have two Roth IRA accounts for my husband and myself. We're going to increase that amount from 200 to, I'm sorry, we were contributing $100 to each account. Now we're going to increase that to 200 each. So a total of $400. Savings, this is our short-term savings, $417. Emergency fund, $417. Life events, this is any events that may come up. <clears throat> we wanna be able to um, help our children out. That's $100 a month. And then for patio, my husband wants to have a patio cover built in the backyard. We're going to save $812 for that. So we're going to aggressively pay our car payment. That is our last debt and that's gonna be $1,000 a month. And then our property taxes and insurance for the home is $350, so we want to be able to save up for that. The total is $3,496, and remaining is $1,056. Then we come to our variable expenses. That is groceries and household, gas, eating out, medical, miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is just going to be pretty much everything else um, that is left. So we have 1,056. I do not budget a specific amount for anything listed here. What we do is we just make sure we don't go over the 1,056 for the month. And that is our budget for the month of January. I just wanna wish everyone a happy new year. Stay safe and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.